Put him in some beer. Hey guys, Prop Sam here and join the bets. So we're going to bring you Total Body 3 uh, with the third strength workout in the current phase. Okay, the people in the gym, they're on a 12, 10, 8, 12 phase, but just to make things a bit easier for you guys training at home, we're going to be doing uh, four sets of 10 to 12 in the A series and then three sets of 10 to 12 in the B series. We've got a 21, 15, 9 uh, metabolic section as our C's and then some aerobic work to finish off with 45 seconds of work and 15 seconds of rest with some focused uh, arm work. So yeah, today's session will be a bit more of a body dominant than, um, than others. Okay, so uh, we're gonna start the session today with um, a push and a pull. Uh, we've been doing some unilateral work through this program. Uh, we're gonna start with a power press up, uh, which I'll be demonstrating now, and then a unilateral row. So you need to make sure you get your Swiss ball guys and your bands for the workout. Um, and you will need a thick band today because you've got dead lifts in our, in our PC. So make sure you get any bands together. If anyone hasn't got any, it's really important you do get them because all the home workouts now are going to just simply utilize a Swiss ball and a full set of bands. If anyone needs the links, uh, let, let us know or we can get them, uh, them sent up to you. Okay, so let's get cracking. Uh, today's A1 is a power presser. So a few different options you can do uh, with this. Uh, best thing with your press position on the floor. Okay, um, ideally you want to get a clap. So a full, Low B7 for three seconds now. That's it. And I do a big power press. One. Okay, so you do a clap like that. Great. If you can't, you're just going to try and explosively contract or do it on your knees. Okay, so here we go. We're going to go for 12 reps. Good. One. Good. Two. Perfect. Three. Four. Five. Good. So you're trying to power up as much as you can. Six. Seven. Excellent. Eight, nine, ten, good, eleven, and twelve. Okay, sixty second rest. So as you can see, guys, the power presses they are extremely difficult. They are very challenging. If you're unable to do the clap press up even on your knees, let's just do a normal press up and let's just focus on controlling down and a nice, powerful, concentric contraction. So a big, powerful push. Even if that powerful push doesn't actually look that powerful, because you're not generating that much force. Okay, so we're going to go into our rows. Bex is going to seat position. She's going to um, simply put this around her, her, her feet. Yeah, we've got a single arm row. So she's going to hook it over. Both arms are going to go on the one handle. Yeah, that's it. So one handle, both handles rather. Now you can pick your hands too. Is that okay? Just quite quickly, quite hard. Just hold that. That's it. Okay, and chest up. We've got 12 reps inside. Pull it in. And release. Good. So when you pull in, you're going to pull in for one, try and hold, and then release. Yeah? Pull in, hold for one, and then release. Over 12 reps on each arm. Good. So you want to try and get a full contraction, try and pull that elbow right back, get a band into your waist if you can, or in your hip. Alright, 12 reps. Good. Keep your chest lifted. Nice. Hold that. 10 to 12. Okay, perfect, yep. Good. However, many reps you manage on the weaker arm, try and match that on the strong arm. So, one, two, three. If you're finding these hard, you can lean back a little bit more. It's going to make it a bit easier because you can bring in a bit more um, of the upper traps. Okay, if you're finding them easier, you can lean forward a bit more. It's just going to bring in a bit more rhomboids. 12 reps. If you're struggling to do that pause, just do your best. If you're finding it easy, lift that chest and really hold that pause for a little bit longer in the shortened position. Good. Okay, 12 reps. Good. So set one done. Take your 60 second rest now. Should be 60 seconds for each exercise. My Bex can go back into a power push ups. Okay, so Bex is going on your knees. Guys, you found the last set easy. Get on your toes. Big, powerful clap. Try and get that torso as vertical as we can. Okay, so you can try and really push the ground away and get as much air time as you can. Go for a clap or maybe a double clap or if you're super fit, maybe a triple clap. Okay? Okay, set number two. Let's go. Down we go. Big push, big clap. Twelve. Eleven. Good. 10, 9, good, 8, 7, 6, 5, 
four. Three, last two. Good, one more. And next two. Perfect. Let's get it. Well done. Get yeah, a little rest. Good. What's that? Yeah. So Beck's going to go on the red band simply because the purple band wasn't able to get the, the band right. We do want to train you guys with a full range of motion. Okay, so go the Beck's going to go on the red band this time. Alright, so using the same arm again first. Okay, you're happy to go. Pull it in, squeeze in that back, and then release it. Good. Pull it in, squeeze in that back, and release it. Keep the chest lifted. Good. So this is why, guys, it's good. It's very important you've got a different uh, range of bands. If you've only got one band, you can't progress in the overload too much. But with Bex here, she tried to prove it. It was a little bit too easy, uh, too hard, sorry. So she's going to go on the bed. She wasn't getting the, the full contraction. So you always want to train with a full range of motion. Perfect. Half reps, all that. Good. The taller you are as well, guys, the more that band is going to have to stretch to pull it all the way in. So that's something else to consider with what band you choose. You can be super strong, but if you're six foot five, that band is going to be really hard to, to utilize. And someone shorter might find it easier to use a band, the same band that you're struggling with, just because the leverage is, uh, is different. So 12 reps. Good. Nice, good. Okay, so take your rest, 60 seconds if you need it. So guys, with the clap presses now, if you find them hard, technique is the most important thing. Remember, you can always put the band around you. Yeah, okay. And you can do your press ups uh, as so. Okay, go out a bit of resistance. If you're struggling with the clap, you might want to go for, for that. All right, you can also do your press on an incline, so feel free to use a table or a chair or a bench um, if you're struggling to use your whole body weight with a normal press up. Okay, right, let's go for set number three. Okay, 12 reps again. Three, two, one, let's go. Good, 12, 11, good. 10, 9, 8, good. Seven, six, five, good. Four, also push, push, push. Three, last two. Good, last one. And rest, good, perfect. So Bex got a ten in the last two. She's getting really fatigued. She managed to get them done, which is great.
you guys should get a drink of water if you need to at home. Yeah, get yourself a quick drink of water before we go into the last set, okay? Okay, yeah, that's 45 seconds there, so yeah. You ready, Bex? Just taking 45 to 60 seconds between each exercise. Just enough to recover. It's the harder set, harder set now, the last one. Last set, best set, let's go. 12, 11, 10, good. 9, 8, good, perfect. 7, 6, you're struggling to clap, you get as much power as you can. 5, good, 4 more. Good, last three. 2 more. And last one, get it. And okay, that's good, perfect. Good, have a little rest. So that's press up done, guys, okay? Now, make a note of how many presses you managed today. Put it in the app. The app has got a feature for you to track your workouts, even on the home workouts. So get in there, track your performance. It's important that the next time you do this workout, which should be this time next week, you're following progressive overload. Okay, the app is there for the purpose of you recording to record your weights. Okay, let's go to the last set of rows. 12, 11, 10, 9, good. 8, 7, good, 6, 5, 4, 3, last 2, 2, and 1 more, and 1, good, perfect, that side, good, last arm of the day, good, Okay guys, that's our A series done. So we're going to move on to the B's now. We've got a quad dominant exercise, guys. We've got a quad dominant exercise. And we've got an exercise for the posterior chain and the glutes and the hamstrings, okay? So uh, the first exercise is the commando get up. What we're going to do, we're going to ideally sit on the floor. We're going to raise our back leg off the floor. So as if we're going into a bit of a quad stretch, but you haven't got a whole leg, you're going to let it flow off the floor. Hands are going to go in front. You're going to lean forward. Foot still stays off the floor. And we're going to try our best stand up okay without our foot touching the floor so you're leaning into it yeah back leg is up we're leaning forward and we're standing up keeping our leg off the floor and then we're stepping back down okay leaning forward driving up okay so it's a single leg get up all right simple as that it's simple it looks simple but it's hard so leg up in the sky lean forward stand up and our leg floats you can put it put it back down if you want to get back into position raise our back leg if you can Stand up, yeah, you can either go back down slowly, controlling the eccentric, or you can just put your foot down and get back into position and go again. If you can't do it, guys, you need to get stronger. Okay, that's why we need to utilize your bands more on the squats. You need to get stronger. Okay, this is next exercise you should all potentially be able to do in the future, but I'm not saying you can all do it now straight away. If you can't do it, we've got a few options. You can go into a split squat, okay, down nice and slowly, working that single leg strength. Okay, that's an option for us. If you've got a TRX, we've got one here, okay? You can lean back on your TRX and squat down, okay? And do your modified TRX, or you can go for a nice, powerful, weighted lunge, okay? Or the final option, you've got something to sit on. Hold this back. Okay, imagine this is a chair. What I'd like you to do is, 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 is slowly lower yourself down. So sit down on the chair, yeah, you sit down, your leg lifted and stand up. Slowly sit down and stand up. I wouldn't do it on a Swiss ball. Use a chair because if it's near the whole leg, you're going to fall, fall over. Okay, so we're going to go in. We're going to re book deck. Bex is going to re book deck because I know she's, she's, uh, she finds the fan to get up hard because they're tough. Okay, so Bex is going to re book deck, modified, um, it's a modified uh, box squat, single leg variation. Okay, she's so done. We're going 12 on each, uh, each leg. Is that right here? Okay, so you're going to try and stand up on one leg. So 12 on each leg, 3, 2, 1, 1. So that leg is floating, guys. Yeah, 1, 2, she's not letting it touch the floor. Yeah, again, this is hard. So what Bex might do if, she's, if she wasn't quite as strong is have a little push off with her arms. So a little push off, just a little push. This leg is still floating, but she's giving herself maybe 5% assistance with her arms if needed. 
The other thing you can do is if you can't do this is just elevate the, the chair with a yellow pages, a book, or something like an inch or two will make a big difference, okay? So 12 reps. So you've got all those variations, guys. Ideally, it's going to be a single leg quad exercise. Okay, commando get-ups an option. The, the main one, if you can do it. If not, split squat, lunge, single leg box squat will be my go-to. All right, well, if you've got a TRX, you can do a TRX single leg squat as well. Or if you're a badass, you can do a pistol squat. But this is a modified pistol squat anyway. Good. Well, you turn. Bex is rocking knees, good. If you're finding them hard, guys, you have a weight in your hand, and the weight will help you stand up, believe it or not. By pushing the weight forward as you stand up, it'll help you, okay? How many hands on your hips makes it a lot harder. Okay, so take your rest, 45 seconds. Perfect. And get the blue band. Okay, so next exercise, guys, a deadlift. This is the exercise in the gym which you can lift the most weight, okay? You should be able to lift the most weight on a deadlift. Okay, so next you're gonna stand on it, make sure your feet are not too narrow, we want about six inches between. Your hands are gonna go through the loops of the bands, so you've got a nice firm grip, okay? And what she's gonna do is, it's gonna be quite easy to stand up, and then the, the, as she stands up, it's gonna get harder. She's gonna drop your hips down, chest is lifted, and she's gonna go for a deadlift, 12 reps. Oh, go on. Or one, okay, too hard? Okay, so she can't quite lock out. If you can't lock out, then it's too difficult. You wanna make sure you lock out, okay? If you were doing a deadlift in, um, in, a, in a powerlifting competition and you didn't lock out, it would be a no lift. So you wanna make sure you lock out, because when we lock out, that's when the glutes are gonna be most um, active. Okay, so stand up. Oh, stand up, one, down slowly, good. Perfect, and again, two, good. So number 12 reps. And then we're going to rest, pause it as well. Three. Get a good grip. Four. One there. Five. So you see Bex isn't, isn't squatting. She's pushing her hips back. She's hip hinging. A slight bend in her knee, five or ten degrees. And the movement is coming th uh, from her hips. The deadlift is a hip dominant movement. So get 12. Good. 11. Yep, yeah, 11. 10. 11. One more. Okay, one more. Okay, she's so gonna rest 10 seconds now. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. She's gonna try and pump in 5 more at a slightly faster pace. 5, 4, good. 3, 2, and 1. Rest, good. Okay, so 12 reps on a really good tempo, and then just pumping in 5 more just to get a bit more volume. Now, one should take your breath away, guys, okay? Perfect, so next we go back to box. You're gonna demonstrate this one side on. Have a, little, have a little breather. If you were finding these hard, guys, another thing you can do or do a modified version, just move that bench over a little bit, okay? Is you could tie your band. Yeah, just come a little bit closer, so just, just got this to hold on to. All right, you could hold on to a band. If you could tie it to, to something here, and all you can do is just hold it on, and it's just gonna give you a little bit of assistance, a little bit of balance for those single leg, um, so it's better to show you the modified version. Alright, if you wanted to work your back a little bit more, all you can do is do a nice sweat and grow back. So hold it in, there we go, and now stand up. So just get a bit more back activation. And because that band is pulling even more, yes, these muscles in the back are working harder, but the band is stretchy and it's giving up more assistance. And the further away your arms go, the less back activation you have, she's not growing anymore, and the less help to have on the legs. So this is working the quads not so much because of the help of the band, because you get a lot of activation through the bicep and the big back. So we want to fight so you can get success. And when you can do it successfully, guys, you can start making it more challenging. You know? Okay, good. Easy, isn't it? Yeah, look, make it look easy. So guys, if you all do these, these variations, it's finding the variation that is right for you at this moment in time. 12 reps inside. Good. So tie it to the sofa, tie it to a door handle. You know, if you're doing these outside in the garden, tie it to the fence. Pace with the whole lift for an hour. Good. Well done. Okay, perfect. Great work. 
So that's two sets then on the on them. We back to dead this now. If you if you've only got a, a certain band guys and it doesn't feel comfortable in your hands, all you can do is you can do a good morning, okay, where you have your feet nice and wide, you're still hip hinging over and you stand up. So I'll show you side on. Yeah, so you're hip hinging, driving up. That's another option for you if you don't want to do the deadlift, okay? So, lots of options. So, one done. Next, you're going to build a good morning. Just because the hand is a little bit tight on the. Not very comfortable your hands up. Okay, so standing up, you're pushing your front back. It's the same motion. I say it, squeeze the glutes to the top. Two. This is a different variation to the deadlift. Good. A bit less tension in the band this time because the way you move around your neck. Obviously, with the dead, if you stand on both parts of the band. But again, you're looking at that hip hinge, you're squeezing the glutes. It's a really nice exercise. This can be done with barbell on back, just like the dead, it can be done with the barbell as well. Good, 12 reps. Okay, let's pause it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Four, three, two, one. So then at 12, we'll go back in for five more. Five, four, three, two, and one. Rest. Good. So, as you know, Bex has got very strong legs. Ideally, guys, the rest pause method, you do 12, you fatigue between 10 and 12, you rest 10 seconds, and you can do as many more as you, um, as you can. For the purpose of this video, we're just filming it to show you the correct way to do it. This isn't actually a workout for Bex, this is work for us. Alright? Okay. Good, but you should be getting to fatigue on 12 reps and then just try and do as many as you can. If you can do more than five, I would say that that band is too light. You probably need to go heavier for the next set. Okay, so next we're going to bring that back in a little bit. Okay, here we go. So then, uh, do you want to hold on? Yeah. Yeah. So you're with me. Alright, so you're going to hold on. That's it. Okay, three, two, one. Single arm's fine as well. Yep. Yeah. And three, two, three, one. Let's go, 12 weeks leg. Go to the weakest leg first. Good, one. Two, so the other legs floating in the sky, guys. Great technique. She's working her glutes, her quads, your balance as well. Good, almost there. 12, 10 to 12 each side. If we need to break it up, guys, we do six on the left, six on the right, six on the left, six on the right. That's fine. Break up the 12 reps as you need to. Good. Almost done. Last one. Okay, 12 reps. Let's have a quick drink if you want to. Uh, take your time, guys. You've got 45 second rest. Last set of, um, of the hip hinge, so ideally the deadlift variation here. Yeah? So Bex can do the deadlift and the finish if you're happy to. I stand it on that band. Make sure guys the deadlift and feet are too close together. You lose balance, feet nice and wide, maybe six inches apart. And make sure you're not squatting. You've got to push that bum back. Okay. Last set of 12, and then we're on about 21, 59. Okay, three, two, one. The Bex is ready to go, so you can. 12, good. Nice. 11, squeeze the glutes to the top. Keep your shoulders and squeeze together as well. Nine more to go. Good. Eight. Seven, good. Six. Five, good. Four. Three, last two. Okay, one to go. One, okay, rest 10 seconds. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And now do as many as you can, guys. Okay, Bex is going to do five. But if you could do more than five, do more than five. Pump them in. Work, 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 work. You should feel the lactic acid building your legs. Go, 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 go. Go to absolute failure. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going until you can't do any more or your form is starting to disintegrate, okay? Okay, guys, well done. Okay, so we're going to move on now um, to the 21, 15, and 9. 
Look at me with my uh, work on shoes. Okay, so we've got burpee tuck jumps. Okay, so a tough exercise. I'll show you the modified version of this. You do a burpee, all the way down to the floor. Yeah, and then a tuck jump. Okay, we go for 21. If you can't manage that, next to the modified version. Now we go. Yeah, I'm going to go there and there. That's one. Burpee, elbow to knee, elbow to knee. Okay, that's instead of the tuck jump. So if you can't do this, yeah, you do that and that as a tuck jump. Okay, Ben's going to lie on the back. She's going to squeeze the ball with her adductors. Okay, so squeeze the ball nice and tight. Bring the ball up in the sky. Back down, 21 reps. Don't let the ball touch the floor. And certainly don't bounce it off the floor. Okay, head back on the floor. Okay, work in those lower abdominals. If you can't do it with the ball, then you can do it without the ball. Just normal leg raises. Bex has got, Bex broke her wrist about six years ago. She broke her wrist, so she struggles with, um, with the pressing motion of the movie. Okay, so we're going to get her some dumbbells. Um, what kettlebells are you going to use? Okay, we'll get her some dumbbells. So here we go. That's it. Different sizes, huh? Okay. So there's some dumbbells. We've got some dumbbells for Bex just to put her hands on. Uh, she has, she's not going to use these dumbbells to jump or anything, just to put her hands on to keep her wrists in alignment. Okay, 21.59, Burpee tuck jumps, leg raises, let's go. Good, that's it. And then, good one. Oh, she's both the jump. Good, nice big tuck jump, that's it. Good, so knees in your chest, that's it. Big explosive tuck jump. Good, perfect. Nice, good. Adding the tuck jump guys to the burpee makes it way harder just to do normal burpees. Each one just saps your energy that little bit more, they're just a little bit more pure. Good, 21 reps. Good. Perfect, Bex can do 21 burpee tuck jumps. She's doing the advanced version. If you can't manage these guys, you can do a modified burpee. We will show you a modified burpee on the next set. Okay? Well done. Perfect, good, 21 reps. Nice, 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 good, 21 reps. Good, keep going, next. Good. That's it, go, 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 she's doing fantastic. Done, okay, I'll leave next to the rest, yeah? If you're struggling with these guys and you're still going, what you can do is just do a down up, yeah? And then here, you haven't got to go chest to floor, just go into a press up. And then here, if that's too hard, yeah, you can just walk your legs back one at a time, walk them in, stand up, yeah, okay, hands down, walk back, walk in, so you can modify the movement. Okay, Bex is into a lying leg raises. So move these dumbbells out of the way. Okay, 21 reps. Squeezing the ball tight. Legs straight, let's go. Good on that. One, good. Two, perfect. You better sit on the hands just to support the lower back. If your back hurts, guys, I recommend you doing this. We've all got a natural arch in our back and just standing on there. Just um, or sit the, lying on there gives us a bit more support through the lower back area. Okay, so 21. Really good core exercise. Good, make sure you breathe. Try not to let that ball touch the floor. Well done. Awesome guys, we're almost done. Almost done the 21. When you've done the 21, you're pretty much halfway through, because 15 and nine is 24, and you've done 21 of each, so you're pretty much halfway through and you've done 21 of each. Perfect. Okay, let's get these dumbbells back to back. If you want to do the modified version now, as you can, Alright, so you just want to do the easy version. Yep, with the elbow to knee. Good, so next with elbow to knee. She's not going chest to floor, not because she's lazy, it's because she's demonstrating to people that are potentially a bit newer and find movies really too, too difficult at the moment, okay? Don't do these guys if you're flying. If you're finding the movies okay, you crack on, man up and get it done. Good, next to do 15 of these now. Perfect, 
the elbow to me is, is instead of a tuck jump. Well done. Pump is getting high now. If you've got your mind shot belt on, you should be getting close to the yellow or red zone. Good. Last one, then. Okay, landing back, you can do 15, just to go then for yourself. That's it, just back to your 50 leg races now. Remember, if you haven't got a ball, guys, you have to do these with just a normal leg race. Uh, no, you don't, you can use the ball. It's the same movement, guys. Good. That's it, if you find leg raises too hard, you can substitute for any other abdominal exercise, that's absolutely fine. Whether that's a, a V sit, a crunch, a sit up, it's fine. So, Bex, quads are hurting here, yeah, the, the, the ball, done? Yeah, 15? <laughs> no, okay. She's going for leg raises now. Good, good technique. The ball's hard, look, you've got to squeeze the ball using all your adductors, so that inner thigh area is a problem for some women. They don't like that area, they want to tone it up a little bit. So, yeah, doing uh, this exercise will certainly increase the activation of those muscles. Right, 15 are done. 21 done, 15 done, time for the nine. 3, 2, 1, let's go. Lead back to what you want to do. Okay, good. And it helps. Go the easy one. Here we go. That's okay. Good. Work nine, eight, seven. Remember, guys, this should be a booby tuck for you guys at home, okay? Get it done. You can always press pause if we move on. You make sure you get this part of the workout done. These videos are just done to help you with a bit of motivation and a bit of accountability. If you can't make the video short class times that we do on, uh, on Zoom. Okay, good. Last set of leg raises. Next, you can go with a normal leg raise. Okay, nine, good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two more. Last one. Great. So, guys, don't need that just for anymore, okay? Get rid of that. Okay, we're going to have down there. Okay, we don't need these anymore either. Okay, so what do you need now, guys? The band. We've got some arms, direct arm work. You can see Bex at the start of the workout, she really struggled with the press ups. She couldn't do them on her, on her feet. So, in order to increase the strength of the, and the, and the performance through push ups, some accessory work for the triceps is going to really help. Yeah, you can see Beck struggle as well with the unilateral rows at the start of the workout with the purple band. She had to drop to a red band, so some direct bicep work is also going to help. Now, I know a lot of people just want to do star jumps and boobies and sweat, but you know, in reality, that's not the sign of a good workout. The sign of a good workout is one that makes you better. So we're going to do some direct arm work now. So it's tricep and bicep. So what are you going to do? You're going to just put your heel, yeah, well your foot can go through the, the band. Yeah, we're going to loop this band over our head. Yeah, into this position here, so we're into what's called a French press. Okay, so you're stood on the band with your back leg, and then all you're going to do is pull that band apart slightly, try and raise, yeah, and straighten the arms. Okay, it's a French press. So you should feel a nice stretch on the back of the triceps. We're going to go for 45 seconds. I don't want you pumping them in too fast. Nice controlled reps for 45 seconds. 45 seconds of time and tension is a really good. Um, Sort of time and tension for hypertrophy, so you should get a bit of muscle development in the triceps, attack those bingo wings. Okay? We've got 15 second rest, and then we're with the bicep curls, which I'll demonstrate after Bex has done the tricep, uh, the French press. Okay, three, two, one, we're going to go for 45 seconds. Just hold it, got it? Three, two, one, go. Now don't come in too fast, keep the elbows back, yeah? And just try and move for 45 seconds. We're going to go tricep, bicep, tricep, bicep, tricep, bicep. So it's three sets of each, but it's only 15 seconds rest between each, okay? So this is six minutes of work, and in that six minutes, you spend the majority of it either working your triceps or your biceps. Good. So the key is, guys, keep the elbows back. All right? Good. Again, the taller you are, the further that band to be lengthen, the harder it is potentially. So it begs you guys, you have 10 seconds to go. All right? And hard. Okay, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 15 second rest, okay? All right, now with the curls, two options with these. The easiest one we'll start with is just stood on it, okay? 
and then a nice easy bicep curl. We'll start with those, okay? Three, two, one, go. Curl now, that's it, perfect. The other option you have, guys, is to tie the band around some sort of implement, okay? And you could come a bit further away and curl up like this, okay? All right, that's the other option. If you want to get that elbow to front a bit more, slightly different contraction. You'll be stronger with this variation, okay? Good, it's better to do one. And you can adjust where you hold the band. If you hold the band a bit further down, yeah, it's going to be in, in, increase the tension on the muscles. If you hold it a bit further up and you don't maybe loop, loop it too much, it'll be a bit easier. So adjust your hands as needed. Almost done. Five, four, three, two, one. Grab one of each. You've got 15 second rest. Three, two, one, let's go. That's it. Good. Working those triceps. Now guys, this movement, whether you've got a dumbbell, you've got a dumbbell behind you, you could have a kettlebell, yeah, you've got a, a, a cable machine. Yeah, it's one of the X we do a lot in the gym. Good, perfect. That's it. Really targets the long head and tricep which is sometimes known as the lazy head, because it doesn't always work unless it has to be recruited normally under heavy weights or in this overhead position. 15 seconds to go. Oh, what's going on? Hard? Yeah, Bet you're struggling, okay, with a little red band. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Perfect. If you can't manage the 45 seconds, guys, that's fine. Yeah, just do as many seconds as you can. All right, we're going to go back to biceps now. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one, go. If you want to make it harder, get your feet wider as well. You'll take up more tension in the band. If you want to make it easier, have your feet a bit narrower. I don't mean maybe stand on it with one leg. Okay, so you can adjust the tension on the band. Bex the elbow stay by the side of the body, and she's making sure she fully locks out. When she fully locks out, she should uh, tense the triceps, and then curl with, through the biceps. So tense the triceps, and curl through the biceps, good, okay? Rather than doing just partial range of motion. Good, almost done. Good, you've got 15 seconds. As you can tell, Bex doesn't do a lot of direct arm work. Yeah, she's isolating her arms, she's finding it very difficult. But this will transfer to an improved performance on bench press, uh, press ups, all rowing motions, and chin ups as well. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, last set now, we're gonna go behind the head. Whenever I train women and they want to do chin ups, I always do quite a lot of direct arm work and then chin, chin up performance flies up. Okay, three, two, one, and let's go. Yeah, honestly, dedicating a little bit of time to direct arm work, bicep, tricep, and grip tends to pay dividends to people's training. Because once you can do chin ups, it's a, it's a really badass move that will really drastically change your body shape. You work so many muscles in the upper body, it is the king of upper body exercises. But some women are so weak. They can't do them because their arms are so weak. Let's go. So a bit of direct arm work, honestly, can change the game for you. Okay, 15 seconds. So Bex is struggling. She's just going to stay in this position. She's going to keep a stretch in her triceps. She's going to try and do a few reps, even if it's partial range. Go. That's fine. She's going to do the lockout. Just small range. You've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Okay, that's good. Okay, good in. Tell us how it is. It's good and good. Okay. Okay, back to your biceps. Good. Okay, three, two, one, go. Last exercise of the day, guys. Yeah, six minutes. Now, if you don't want to do any uh, arm work, you want to do some conditioning, guys, do the arm work and tell you to do it and finish this workout with 50 burpees for time. Okay, and try and do 50 burpees of time under three minutes. If you want to get that sweaty blast, do it. Just do it at the end as soon as you finish this video. Do it. But make sure you do this, this first, guys. Okay, because it'll help you tremendously with all of your strength work. Okay, go, go, go. Yeah, so I hope you all understood that, guys. Next, got 15 seconds to go. If you want a bit more of a sweaty blast, 50 burpees of time, trying to get it done in under three minutes. That's our little challenge for you. Do want a bit of a sweaty blast and Bex is done. Okay?
Okay? So guys, if you want that sweaty blast, press pause now, 50 burpees at a time. Get that done if you want to do it. But like I said, these workouts are short, they're sharp and effective. Effective being the magic word, we want to make sure that you are getting better. We're not just making you sweaty, we're not just making you tired. We want to make you better and make sure you improve it uh, as best as you can on a week to week basis. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that workout. Thanks for Bex. She's had to rush to the toilet, she's been rusted for a week for the last 15 minutes. Any questions, guys, let me know. Hope you enjoyed that one. We'll see you again for Total Body Flow in the next few days. Speak to you soon, guys. Bye bye.